Hey y'all, today we're doing the springy water marble. I'm starting with white nails and my nails are already taped up and I've just put it all around my finger so that I have protection. You can use liquid latex or whatever you want to use. And my water is just uh, tap water that I let sit out for an hour so it's room temperature. And I'm using these colors. The purple is OPI Lost My Bikini in Malokini. The pink is Formula X Eureka. And the yellow is Salon Perfect Mellow Yellow. And I'm just gonna keep building my bullseye. Um, just as many rings as you want, but I find with the zebra print design that we're doing, you wanna do as many rings as you can in the water to get the center ring to be tinier. So just keep going and playing around with it until you get as many rings as you want. Now I'm just going to take my really small dotting tool. You can use a needle for sure, but I just wanted to use my dotting tool today. And I'm just going to go up to the top and down to the bottom. And then I'm just going to go across, back and forth, all the way across the whole cup. Every now and then, do wipe off your dotting tool or it will get kind of gloopy and cause problems in the water. So just go back and forth all the way across the whole cup. Now I'm just going to go the opposite way and I'm going to go up and down and this is just to get the colors to mix a little closer so that the zebra print design is just a little closer so that you have more of the print on your nails. So now we're just going to find a spot that we really like and I'm going to be dipping two nails at a time so just find this spot right here looks good to me. So I'm going to take my two nails and I'm going to figure out how I want to dip them. And I think I'm going to turn the cup a little bit and I was going to do them that way so it would be easier to see but it was easier for me to dip them with my fingers bent. So just do whatever is comfortable for you and when you're ready just plunge your nails right into the water. And then start cleaning up and I know I'm sorry this is a little hard to see the cleanup. I tried to turn the cup so y'all could see a little bit better. Um, just start cleaning it up with a q-tip and that's how I found as easy as the q-tip picks up a whole lot better. And you can blow on the water a little bit to dry up the polish so it comes out better. Just make sure you clean up that whole surface of the water before you pull your nails out. And I wiggle them around just in case there's, there's any air bubbles and then I slowly pull them out of the water. And there is the design on my nails. Then I'm just going to remove the tape with some old tweezers. And that's just super easy, sorry I was out of camera a little bit, but you just pull that tape right off of there. And then I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and some acetone and take off any of the big blobs of polish that I can get. Um, and then I'm going to go in, I even go under my nails a little bit, you see right there. I can go under there and clean that up easily with a Q-tip. Then I'm going to go in with my small brush and some more acetone and clean up as close to the cuticles as I can. Now if I do get any bubbles in my nails, I just take my little dotting tool and I push them down as flat as I can get them because if you don't and you put the top coat on, all of those are going to turn into holes and show your under color, which in my case is white. You can see that little white circle right there, that's what it'll look like. So go ahead and finish everything off with your favorite top coat. I'm using HK Girl. And 
that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. These were part of a birthday collage that we all did together for Jessie Does Nails on Instagram. I'll link her down below. Hers were so much better. They had like more orange and stuff, but I couldn't find an orange that would fit in with these. But I still like the way they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed them too. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!